I was a child getting in fights and detentions. Wild I was spoken, sometimes pretentious, cheesy to be digested, grill to an extent with my corny antiques and over the top gestures. So if they didn't like it, here's a side dish of vengeance. So try and get close, eat me, end a sentence. Cause my dad always told me to speak louder since my actions raise my voice, test, test, basically blast them. Move still on a constant, a constant basis standard. Omar's the bar at heart, not a biter finger jammer, but a Bart Simpson emulated, steely willed, hot headed, eager beaver 90s kid. Raised Power Ranger fan, anime fanatic that played SNES with his friend Tyson and got educated in Beaver Creek Elementary 1997 in Vancouver, BC. Back then, you see, I used to play outside without any worries of getting some booty or new Lamborghini back then when it was easy to become friends with anybody without hurting some feelings or that matter, anybody. When permission was a hobby to do anything with meaning, even the simple things in life such as playing sketching cause I had such a vast imagination and spoke to myself for affirmation to sustain my confidence with a little help from my conscience. So call me delusional, blind, or even crazy, but I'd rather live in my own world of innocence, lady, with my imaginary friend Penny the Broomstick, as he would be hesitant to get my boomstick to go shotgun like I did. Honest from the heart, act before I think, walk before I talk, and that was the philosophy that ran my life in 97, not the shenanigans that began in 2011, where I became too poofy and pussy to hurt some feelings, got bitches that lack respect calling me Mr. Feelings, they be thinking I'm a softy to play me, as they be killing me softly and rape me with their verbal tyranny, as they push me around cause I act politely, thinking I'm a fool. Jeez. <sighs> but you know that eager beaver kid? I'm about to release him to get it cracking from the chains of morality being apologetic and decent because it's going down descent. You're not making me high, you're no Tony Braxton. I'm a stoop to your level while maintaining my innocence as I expose some real shit because click. Ch -ch -ch. Penny my sidekick get my boomstick again to shoot at these bitches, psychologically murder them and remind these witches how I gather information of their scandalous habits, yell out what they did, education, enchantment. That Penny says this. Omar, let's be honest, I think we should all chill until they meet their matches, let them get burned for real and pray to God to handle it when they lose their appeal. Deal? And I say, Psh. no, deal. Howie Mandel, I got exact revenge with my words to express them terms as I'm still childhood repping my own world because I'll stay trapped as a kid and stay strapped with a pen and not end up in prison like the boyfriends. Now listen, the only thing I'll be shooting is 100% facts because honesty is my weapon. That's 100% fact. Bam. Mm -hmm. We gotta go. This one. Oh, crazy world. You cast me out and laugh, dismissing my acts, claiming that it's sad, pathetic, or that I'm just full of crap. I know who I am, yeah? I ain't soft or provoked and go hard with my terms, get ready for degradation and F what you heard. As I finish this sentence, so listen to my words of moral antiquity. No ambiguity, just clarity, without being preachy, world. Now listen to me, as I violently disconnect and act. As if nothing really happened, no harm, no foul, all it takes is to fuck you up if you treat me like a coward. Ground and pound you verbally, not into causing beef. But I believe in self-defense, I got all you can eat on the curb of the street in front of the girlfriends and freaks of your douchebags and pricks that flaunt the limousines. You glorify on televisions their expensive reach that prey on the weaklings like they're above the law they peak? Well, go ahead, MTV. Like thieves and pirates on sea, you nab what you see from taxpayers' money. You work their politics and their daddy's money to sell their sense of morality with ivory fiber and bent. Actually... They're insensitive. With the lack of soul and being, they're also arrogant. But I'm confident you need. That's the major difference. So try judging me if I'm any different, specifically based on these. I'm special. I'm the bomb. I'm the shit. I believe my own hype. I don't really give a shit. If you say, world, that I'm some kind of a loser, a poser, delusional, and a self-absorbed lunatic, a failure, abnormal, a cornball, or antisocial person with no goals or ambitions or a sense of direction, jobless and broke, and you expect me to quit? According to what you said, I'm just a simpleton, and you also said that I would never get the business or be a wide-shouldered meathead living the life of the reckless, but that's okay, on contrary of what you say. I'm a refugee who lived nine years in a camp village, a kid who was scared to mix with the chicks due to an education system that disallowed interaction of the opposite sex, a kid that sinned from sex because of culture and religion, then became too obsessive and compulsive with his sin. In a framed portrait, you see, there were so many limits. He had portraits, lived in a poor state, had to withdraw from reality and hope his world trades with good fortune and grace. He had to claim the fame to be the artist to say, I'm an artist world, a mixed martial artist to be specific, an ass-kicking self-proclaimed machine that hates ass kissing and loves to grind and lean not to mention living another day of hearing you say you're too ambitious to even dream and you call me crazy at this eh 
You have brothers backed by another from one year in power. You have women deceive men and play them by the hour. Glass-shaped figure used with their features. You have youngsters disrespect elders, calling them dinosaurs, and out of touch a spinal cord that's paralyzed no cords to play outdoors like accordions according to refrigerators concord and when they steal eyes they concords. Uh, yeah. I've played power line they forge. They wire less. Now that's cold. These nomads are mad and gone to the max. Truth to be said, these goofs are out of touch when they don't emotionally touch one another by touching on their touch screen, eye, whatever. In other words, there's no connection, brothers. And you insist on calling me crazy? You insist on calling me crazy? No need to deny it. You don't have to play me or say a word to apply it because I notice from your eyes and your silence, your body language and your fake smiles that are quiet that you're the only one that needs an asylum. So keep denying you're crazy. I won't even put you down. Now I can safely say, my world is upside down. Thank you.